Hey guys, what's up? It's Faiza, possible your African village girl. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys watched my other video, the one I did. I'm gonna leave it here. So this is just like an extension of it. After finishing the work that side, we decided why not do a quick tour of this large farm. <laughs> yes, basically we have okra as you can see. This is okra. Those are soya beans and of course we have these beautiful trees. So I just want us to walk around like I always come to such places just to relax my mind, just to release things, just to think about stuff, right? If you haven't subscribed, please pause and subscribe because you're going to enjoy this. So our okra started, it's, uh, it's not germinating, it's producing the, the okra. <laughs> the tree is already producing. Stem. 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 Stem is producing. So as you can see, the, the okra is already coming out, yeah? This has spent like, a, it's like a month and something. So, uh... From this you shall get some good harvest, but of course not all of them grow. Because as you can see they were grown in lines, but uh, some parts are still left hanging. One thing I love about this land is it's so so soft and very very fertile. Like it doesn't give you hard time digging. Just using my legs. Hey, can do it again? Just using my legs, like it's like the Nigerian kind of land, very fertile. The soya beans garden. They're also known as peas. This is actually quite large. It's almost an acre full of land. I mean, a full of the peas. But they're doing quite well, as you can see. Actually, we've not been having rain of late but um, the rain is picking up it's coming and that side that side we have the, the, the maize but we're not going to go into that so this is how everything works i just love the tree it's so organized and we have some swamps around there is actually a valley down there and this stretches up to the other side That's how everything looks apparently. Giants laying right. Can you chew? Come on, come on. Yeah. 
Then I'll be nyanya. So here we have eggplants, but they're just flowering. They've not started uh, producing the eggplant. So. Yeah, and then we have those trees. Anyway, these belong to my cousin. They're not mine. <laughs> So yeah, like I do. Five. Five and six. Mm. It's already. Are these ones are also doing quite well? At least now for the rain, there's still no rain and the rain has come back. So. Actually one of the challenges that farmers do face here is um weather basically. And uh, most of them are crying for the water pump <laughs> because even while they fetch water for the domestic use, is also very far, and then also for the garden is also very far. But uh, yeah, there are also some tomatoes here, but they're not yet. The tomatoes here as you can see but these are not even uh yes they are there but they're, 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 they're not yet right the first thing that mm. maybe you come this side so this is how it looks as you can see they're just developing guys do understand when I say agriculture is actually the backbone of Uganda's economy. Say it for yourself <laughs> if you've always been hearing it. Like in every rural area, people always do some planting in every rural area. People always invest in agriculture. The only sad part is they sell all that they get and then they begin craving for more again. Otherwise, do like, share and also subscribe. And you know, I'll keep you updated to these beautiful gardens we have in my village. Until my next video, bye-bye.